Hey everyone, Vito from More Beer here. We're outside Sidegate Brewing in Concord. We're gonna actually homebrew a batch at the commercial brewery here. We're doing the Citrus Session Pale Ale. We got the guys and gals from White Labs. Chris White is gonna sit with our Chris Graham and tell you all about the new Pure Pitch. Uh, so let's go ahead inside and get started. So we're here at Sidegate. Uh, White Labs has joined us for a fun brew downstairs. We got a pale ale going on right now, but I thought it'd be a great time to talk to Chris White about this new product and uh, pretty excited about it. You guys always wanted us to have a 2X size. Please, can you make a bigger size? Because your customers are asking for that. So what we did was, this is the volume of the old vial and, and the pure pitch uh, together um, at a really standard, cell concentration of 2.15 billion across all of our normal strains, not the wild yeast of bacteria that's got a separate calculator and everything. When you pitch it, you're gonna get, if one of these in 20 liters would be 7.5 million cells per mil. So some home brewers like talking millions of cells per mil. Some home brewers like talking millions of cells per mil per degree Plato. Some home brewers just want to know how much to use. So we've got some label instructions, and we've got a calculator that was built along this that has some really new stuff with a dial based on the, our cell count and the volume of your beer and the, and the temperature and the gravity to tell you millions of cells per mil, millions of cells per mil degree Plato, or just simply how much to use. So you can get really technical, really geeky uh, on it if you want, or just use one per five gallons or two per lager if you want 15 million cells per mil. That's awesome. One of the things I loved about White Labs, the many tours I've been on with you guys, is how many humans are doing this and how many tests you guys are doing along the way. And just give us a brief overview. How many tests do you get, think you do on one of these? Well, we do 38 tests that we have a list of if people want. Uh, and that's a lot on every small batch because uh, we have over, you know, over 100 small batches going every day uh, in the three facilities, and those are different strains. And even if we had some kind of automation, which we don't, uh, how do you do that across try to make 100 different strains a week? Your cleaning time would be too long. And we don't want to use cleaning time because we don't want to have the potential of not cleaning something right among the different strains. So they have all completely separate processes uh, and, and sterile processes. So it takes a lot of people. Uh, and pure pitch, going from those what we call vials to pure pitch, created a lot more people with the heat sealing and things that we needed to do. It made it more expensive. And pure pitch next generation uh, still gets more expensive to make. We haven't increase the, the price per, per liter of yeast or anything by doing it, but uh, it is not about making yeast more inexpensively. We still use our same three week small batch process from 28 years ago, uh, but it's making the best yeast possible. I always felt if we made the best yeast possible, people could make the best homebrew. And that's what we've tried to do. So that all that quality control we do in the back, which you can see with the QR code, all the all the tests that we do, well, the final tests are on there, uh, including qPCR. Um, we feel it's going to make our yeast have the best potential results. And so now, with this huge viability increase with Pure Pitch Next Generation, the film, all the things, we didn't just make a bigger size, or we didn't just make a bigger cap. We loaded all sorts of features into the yeast that we had a big list of from what brewers have been asking for and what our own staff have been asking for and put it into Pure Pitch Next Generation. All right, Chris. Well, thanks for telling us about the new Next Generation Pure Pitch. Let's go pitch some yeast. 
Let's pitch it. All right, it's time to pitch. We have quite an enzyme collection we're gonna be adding today. We have ALDC, we have Foamax to keep the foam down during fermentation. Chris, we have Clarity Firm, a White Labs product. Looking forward to using that. And of course, we have our next generation Pure Pitch. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna first give everything a nice little healthy spray. I like to give it a little, little spray there. You wanna hold that? Sure. I'll have you. Do that, and I'll start opening this guy up. Let's make sure we're depressurized. Ready? Give this a little more shake. So you give that a little shaky shake. I'll open this guy up. Looks like we got it in there, actually. Good to the last Beautiful drop. yeast. That yeast grew for a reason. Yes. Had Somebody a had to make it, too. Use it all. A couple drops. All right, so now the X2 jacketed conical is set to go. The next adventure is we drive it to my house, hook it up to the glycol unit, and we'll ferment it about 68 degrees for two weeks. All right, so I want to say thanks to Chris White for joining me and the whole White Labs crew. This has been an awesome brew day. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Thank you.